Members of Parliament have hailed President William Ruto's State of the Nation address, saying the speech showed that the President listened to Kenyans, while appreciating the President for fully committing to address the challenges facing some sectors, such as health and education. The MPs termed the President's directive to cancel Adani company deal as courageous and sharp. I must thank him for one very important thing the fight against corruption. That is the bottom line of everything that he said today. And inviting all government agencies, those fighting corruption, those who involved in the judicial system or the justice system, the National Assembly and the Senate in legislation, and the rest of the government agencies in bids to fight corruption, that was the tech home for me, and I must appreciate it. And I want to call upon the rest of those institutions to join hands with the president in fighting corruption. We feel that those who are responsible that for, for the entire process leading to the award of the tender to Adani must take responsibility. There must be accountability in whatever happened. Because one, a deal, such a huge contract, cannot just be cancelled without consequences. There will be consequences for the termination of that contract. We must, be, we must pay some money because it will, it will not just be cancelled uh, in a casual manner, the way the president said. There will be consequences. You know, universal health care has been a thorn in the issue from the Kibaki era, from the Uhuru era, and now William Ruto as president. And he has assured Kenyans that uh, the, uh, the Shah and Ship will definitely work, which I believe is a good thing for Kenya. Where well, the president is saying, look at the dollar. Look at uh, uh, food self-sufficiency, uh, subsidized fertilizers, that Kenya is on the road uh, to recovery. Uh, we, uh, and I think it's good and we'll debate in the House. The other things which we must say that the president should do more in this or that area. I think what Kenyans need to know and to understand is that we are growing economically. We are growing at 5.6 percent. Our inflation rate is 2.7 percent. And for any sort, and uh, the only issue now is unemployment, which I'm sure will be tackled. But every single economic indicator shows that we are growing as a country. And that's what we want, because without a great...